right? So that's a look at your weather. It is Tuesday. Welcome to Let's Go. We're going to get things going here with a Montreal rap artist who joins us for New Music Tuesday. I do what I did it, they calling me No one is running my city, my city got s*** and all of them I want my money, no maybe, you better pay me for my solution Get crazy. I'm never lazy, I chop and I screw in the daily We keep on leading my heart, go, go, come out with Bailey's Out in the bar with my lady, do not move shady I start to talk with a mainly, you and I start see I'm gravy Do that's the cost, the price is crazy Dungeons and Dragons, the cannibals made me Running the mansion, my memory hazy Legally blind, my sister's Tom Brady You was a vivid, my cash on the way Twisted, confused, now the zombies got rabies God let my past up, I walk it out safely Got out my past like the chalk in the 80s Bills in the trash, something no one called Stacy. Not too far back, we was balling that maze That shout out to cash, my inside that was Trace Be back at the trap, it's a rapper cash You Duke Eatman joins us now for New Music Tuesday. Hi, Duke. How you doing, Sabrina? We got something hot today. We got a Montreal trap artist from his new album called Side B, Raw and Uncut. We just heard one of the tracks on that album called Crazy. He has an interesting story. We're going to talk about the actual recording process, which is going to blow y'all away. It blew me away. So it is my honor and privilege to welcome to New Music Tuesdays. We just heard the track called Crazy from his new album, Side B, Raw and Uncut, Montreal's own AP. How are you, sir? <laughs> Thanks, guys, for having me. I really appreciate this opportunity, by the way. Yeah, thanks for coming into studio. It's great to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Likewise. Now, somebody buys the album. Right. It says Side B, Raw and Uncut. You mm -hmm. know, I've seen the cover for it and everything. And it says APXO. Right. But your name is only pronounced AP. Exactly. What happened to the XO? So, the, the true story is this, okay? Yeah. What I tell everybody when I get on stage is beautiful. It goes, my name is AP, but the XO is silent like the love I never got. The love you never got. I never got. Talk now, to us about that. The support, I had to earn it. It wasn't given and it wasn't charity. So, my name is Anthony Pereira. And I'm proud. You know what I mean? I didn't want to have to come with these little this or little that. No. My name is me. When you greet me, you're greeting me. Right. And so, when I actually signed up to put the name on the registry, <laughs> someone had taken AP. Really? Yes. So I had to add something. And mm. in the moment, I couldn't wait any longer. So on my creative freestyle, I just said, pow, let's put XO. And then I just, it just fit with me. It, like it all came together. Like but the there's love. a poetic mm -hmm. and a very spiritual thing that, that goes with it. When you it, describe the love you never had, are you referring to local support of your music? You're talking about I you know, relationships. Even, what are you talking about? The love. It stems down to the days that I just was discovering myself. This is my family. Before it was music, before it was work. You know right, what I mean? Right. I felt like sometimes at the house, even though um, I was able to understand myself musically, to understand, to, for others to understand me, it was a little bit more difficult. Interesting. You know, so it took time, but eventually... I do, I, got, I can't say still, I don't got the love. Like, I got the love now, you know? But it took time. Do you best express yourself through your music? 100%. I think even when I'm talking to people, I talk as if I'm saying lyrics. Right. Some people say, you're very poetic when you talk to me. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? This is just, this is just, just me. I'm naturally alacritious. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from for you? Did you read a lot as, as a child? Where, mm. Just this, this talent for lyrics. So I did read a lot. I was heavy into books and... I, I don't know where I got that from because my dad didn't pick up any books in front of me. <laughs> but apparently he was a well-reputable lyrical guy in the city. Um, and he had a reputation, uh, like a good one. So what did he do? He was an MC. 
He was an MC. Really? He was he was killing it, and he was doing shows. But then, so you're second generation hip hop in your family. I am. I am. I'm definitely. But I took it to the level to sit, to sit here and talk to you. You see, what's crazy is when we just celebrated the 50th anniversary of hip hop, and we did all sorts of stuff on the show. Yes, I we're did it with really, Blaster. We're pardon me. I did that with Blaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 50th anniversary on CKUT. Yeah, I was with them. It's just incredible when people realize. We're looking at two generations. Fathers are seeing their children who yeah. are adults now doing this thing and, and following in it. Yeah. Uh, Sabrina and I were just sort of freaking out as you were talking to us about the recording process of oh, your music. Um, oh, when you actually do your lyrics. Yeah. Do you literally just freestyle your lyrics So in studio when it's time to lay down tracks? 808 and several producers and engineers around the world can vouch for me. Really? I walk into the studio. I need tea. I don't drink alcohol. I don't smoke. Nothing. I go into a studio. It's a good thing because you'd have a hard time remembering your lyrics if you were doing it like <laughs> Come that. Come on. <laughs> 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 so I, I walk in and literally I got tea, a bit of honey, and no lights. Turn the lights down. I want silence and I don't like people in the studio. I want to record alone or with a specific engineer that I feel comfortable enough to be vulnerable in front of. And I think about 85% of my verses are one take. Really? One take. A piece. Of, how do producers feel about that? Studio time's expensive. You're, you're coming down. You're coming in. You book the time. You have nothing written down. You They're say, nervous. "Okay, well, we're, we're going to freestyle this." Yeah. No. No. I, if they don't know me, or if they've heard some music, they go, "Let's take the risk." You know, he right. sounds nice, but right. when I come in and I do the actual work, I'm always getting uh, like I get the wow. I'm. I'm in. I'm impressed. Yeah. They said Jay Z or Jay Z said this at least years ago that he never wrote anything down. So I actually everything took was just this memorized. From him. Really? Yeah, that's, that's, that's funny. That. Okay, so um, growing up, I was listening to Rock Kim and Eric B. I don't know. A lot of people should know that person. And Rock Kim is my know? gods right there. Exactly. And then I was listening to Jay Z, and you know the next ones, the DMX is the Ludacris's, and I was always wondering if I write my lyrics down, what happens if I lose them? You know like, what happens. So I just practiced freestyling. I was in the bus freestyling. I was in the metro freestyling. I'm in the car going to work at 6 a.m. freestyling. And now uh, I don't need to write anything. I, I appreciate that you, you know, you're, you're clarifying that point because freestyling, one might think, oh, someone wings it. It's easy. There's no work involved. You had to practice at, at this. There's work ethic behind Over this. 10 style. years of practice. Seriously. How does this translate when you perform live? The reason why I say this is I remember going with my younger brother to see the Hard Knock Life tour in the late 90s. Oh, jeez. And Jay-Z was talking about what a butt kicker it was because now he actually has to remember all these songs, right? <laughs> it's one thing to lay them down and yeah. it's maybe one thing to do a song, you know, on, on, on a, you know, you're on MTV mm -hmm. or BET, but it's another to do an hour and a half concert of oh, all yeah. these songs. How does that work for you in, in regards to the fact that the process is not written down? Mm -hmm. Do you ever, do you ever stumble or do you, okay, it's, so in there, it's ingrained? I, I, I promise you every show I have a hiccup, but nobody ever realizes. Because, what do you mean? Like you have the hiccups? No, no, no. I, I, I have a hiccup like... I'm I'm doing the songs, I'm performing right. the songs, right. and then it hits me, and I'm on stage, and there's people there, and everything's happening. And within a millisecond, I have to think and freestyle how to correct the mistake that is about to happen. And literally, I freestyle, and I get that, 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 that. And nobody knows. Nobody ever knows. This. They're happy. They come up to me, and they're like, oh, wow. I, and they always compliment that specific moment that I, like, in my mind, crashed. Mm -hmm. But to them, they're like, amazing and i'm like oh that's incredible i'm like yeah you know it was on purpose <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like the miles davis philosophy you can never play a wrong note it's the note you play after the wrong note that makes it determine whether it's the wrong note or not agreed. how do you fix it yeah agreed agreed you open for paul wall he's been a, a hip-hop mm -hmm. head that was a vet in the, yeah. in the business for so many years how was it in montreal right yes where was that at, it was at the belmont and how'd that go sold out show good crowd the other artists that even that were there was just like a I felt like it was a family reunion, right. um, but I don't come to play. I came with a real, sh like, I came with a set. I had um, a sword. Uh, I don't know what the exact term is, but she does an art with a sword. So as I was performing one of my very uh, like intense songs. Is she like a, like a belly dancer type thing? No, no, she actually comes out, pulls out this full sword. Right. And she swallows the sword live on stage. While ev like the crowd is jumping, I'm there on stage, 
and she swallows the sword and pulls it out. And when she pulls it out, everyone on stage, like, we amplify it, you know? Right, it right. Was ins- Where did you meet this lady? Um... From around the way, like right. these are all Montreal locals. I'm actively always searching to collaborate with other locals. See, if I go into a show and I'm in the front row and somebody pulls out a big sword, I'm moving a few rows yeah, back. Yeah, I think that's the that well. part of the show. <laughs> sword swallowing, maybe not for everyone, but yeah, it definitely adds the drama. Yeah, well, I was thinking of doing the fire, but there was a fire code, so <laughs> I was like, all right, cool, we'll do the sword. That can always get complicated. Mm-hmm. So the album Side B, Raw Not Cut, came yes. out uh, in July. Yeah, July seventh. Uh, indie release. Talk to us about the uh, the album's title, Side B, Ron and Cut. So, Side B, I try to expose and dive into a different side of me. I am used to doing a certain boom bap type of rap. It's a very, like, let's call it like cliche. Right. You know, when we think of rap, you know, I can do that. But then I wanted to dive into a different part of me. All the songs in Side B were recorded in various different studios around the world. I toured on my first Europe tour and I met so many different people and these were all the songs that I wasn't confident enough to put out. I was too shy. So it's like the B-sides. It's the B-side of me. So this is why I wrote Raw and Uncut because some of those files, people may not know, they're not even mastered. Wow. They were raw and uncut and I was just said, I just, I looked at myself and I said, no, you know what? If I'm happy with this in my room and I'm listening to it, there has to be at least one other soul out there that's feeling it. And that's why I put Side B out. I want to talk about the single Trap Soul. Mm -hmm. Uh, Very introspective lyrics, very deep lyrics. And Mm -hmm. and at some point, you talk about a relationship with your dad, which was was somewhat complicated. Talk to us about that. Uh, My dad is my biggest supporter, but also he's not a hater at all. He's just like, I just felt at an adolescent time in my life, and I'm still there, I guess. Sometimes I don't understand how he's supporting me. And so, you know... The mature me is saying, I appreciate your support, but I just wish I got it in the ways that I would have wanted it or felt I needed it at that time. And these these harbored feelings, I needed to express them. Did he hear the song? (laughs) Crazy story. First time I ever performed it, I didn't know. He shows up with my mom on the side of the stage and I'm mid performance and I'm getting nervous and I'm like, how am I going to say these lyrics out loud? And he's right there. And I just had to just zone in. And when I finished the song, he came and gave me a hug. I was on stage. He came, really? he came on stage. He gave me a hug. And he came back and I was like, oh, you're making me emotional. I'm a very I, emotional I love guy. This story. <laughs> okay. This so everybody great. out there, listen to the lyrics of this. You, 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 you Touch a lot of things in this track. Yeah. On this track. Okay, the album is called Side B, Raw and Uncut. Montreal's own AP trap artist. This one's called Trap Soul. It'll wake you in this. AP, you so wavy. Yeah, If you get in money, 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 gotta keep it on the low. If you wanna love me, then you gotta let it go. If you want me real, you gotta send the vibes. If you wanna feel, you go keep it alive. I'm dripping in water, but I started with the snow. Can't talk to my father, he still hates me on the low. Said I'd never be, now you hear you at my show. Whoa, I don't know where to go. I got all these issues that I'm hiding on the low. I got all these tissues that I'm hiding in the flow. If I say I miss you, missing where you didn't go. I'm feeling slow. Sitting in this plane, wonder how you didn't know. Sitting at my game, wonder why you didn't show. Spitting all this game, trying to go and fix my. No, sitting with my brain to the f- Sitting with my pain, drawn the f- Feeling like the fame's only time I'm alive Feeling like the rain's only time I can cry Why? Reading that my name is a source of a lie Yeah, yeah, yeah Mama trying to be a mother, but it's way too late Never said you love me, cause you know that it is fake Did it on my own, in the mirror I feel great Only when I'm giving money's time, you never late Wait, how you tryna talk this shit and I'm on earth shake? If you get in money, you gotta keep it on the low. If you wanna love me, then you gotta let it go. If you want me real, you gotta send the vibes. 
If you wanna feel, you go keep it alive If you getting money, gotta keep it on the low If you wanna love me, then you gotta let it go If you want me real, you gotta send the vibes If you wanna feel, you go keep it alive That is called Trap Soul, Montreal Zone, AP, and uh, the new album is out now. It is called Side B, Raw and Uncut. You're in Ottawa this weekend. I am for, I, I'm hoping and I'm expecting an epic show. Where are you playing? Brand manager can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you get to on time, right? He sticks to the music yeah. and the freestyling. So, uh, the manager takes the, care the, of the, the, the venues. venues. <laughs> There's a lot of venues. <laughs> October 30th now, you uh, you head overseas. You're heading to Europe. You're going to be in Switzerland, Germany, France, yes. uh, England. You're also going to Mexico and Japan. Talk to us about that. Okay, so I said brand manager, but we we do this ourselves. You know, we don't have any um, like investors or financial backing of some big label. We are what you call local artists, but we're just creative. We're hungry. I don't want to just, you know, be trapped in my basement so i mean i made it a point i have set up my second europe tour wow yeah all right the name of the album is called side b ron uncut his name is ap pick it up now you're already at work on a new album family yep. ties family ties that's coming out next Ooh, year by the way afro beats and house music is what i'm touching oh next. look out now uh -huh. that's next uh -huh. thank you for joining us thank you guys for having me and ap even with the branding they're wearing a shirt called family ties so yeah. already putting it out there that, oh yeah, that, yeah that's yeah. the next one by the way we got a, a pop-up shop coming on the 27th and 28th locally so tune in you know my instagram is lord apxo tune in I'm, I'm oh, everyone here. I'm expecting to see all these beautiful faces. <laughs> We're going to try to get down there. <laughs> Thanks. AP, thank you so much. You're welcome back anytime. Good luck on the tour. That is AP Montreal Zone. And uh, Duke, thank you very much for that. And you'll be back after four o'clock. Some more new.